நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டமல் வீடியோ of a renowned astrologer jyotish mahaguru aditya guruji the link of the original version that is a tamil video is given in the description box of this video this is astrologer deepa and i am presenting you the english version of the tamil video in my last video i explained about the effects of sun in different houses for virgo ascendant and in this video i am going to explain the effects of sun in different houses for libra ascendant when sun resides in libra in ascendant house it is debilitated sun is said to be padagadibadi for the native of libra ascendant because sun is lord of the 11th house if only sun resides in padagadibadi house it will give worse effects I have explained a lot about Padagadibadi in my past videos. I don't want to repeat the very same points in this video. Sun is the lord of 11th house which is the house of gains and he is Padagadibadi as well. It is good in a certain way. How? When sun which is both Padagadibadi and lord of house of gains gets debilitated in the house of Libra it will reduce the strength of the house when sun resides in ascendant house itself it is not considered to be good however for the native of libra ascendant it will not deliver worse effects because when sun resides in libra it loses thanabala thus losing the direct strength sun is pretty weak when it resides in house of libra Therefore when sun resides in house of libra it is good to a certain extent and it will not deliver very bad effects when sun is subhatva in house of libra it will deliver extra benefits when sun resides in the second house that is in the house of scorpio it delivers extreme benefits because in this case lord of 11th house resides in second house Here lord of house of gains is in the second house which is also its friendly house. The house lord of Scorpio, Mars and Sun are mutual friends. When Sun resides in second house it delivers added benefits to the native. When Sun resides in third house that is the house of Sagittarius whose house lord is Jupiter it delivers even more benefits than in the second house sun delivers benefits both in second and third houses based on the concept that sun resides in friendly houses which is scorpio and jupiter it delivers benefits to the native when sun resides in scorpio it delivers a lot of benefits 
and when sun resides in pisces whose house lord is jupiter it delivers even more benefits than its position in scorpio to sum up sun in scorpio delivers good effects and when sun resides in sagittarius it delivers even more benefits than in scorpio therefore the planetary position of the sun in both houses that is scorpio and sagittarius or good when sun resides in capricorn it resides in fourth house the quadrant house is much liked by the sun but not capricorn because the house lord of capricorn is saturn which is a dead enemy to the sun in addition to this as per bhavat bhavam when sun resides in capricorn it will be in the sixth house to its own house leo however for the native of libra ascendant saturn is raja yogadipati since sun resides in house of raja yogadipati and it also resides in the quadrant house that is fourth house it will not deliver worse effects it is good to a certain extent when sun resides in the fourth house to the ascendant because when sun resides in the fourth house it aspects the 10th house to the ascendant having said all these though sun resides in house of saturn it does not deliver such worse effects to the native of libra ascendant and when sun resides in fourth house it establishes the 10th house connection as well which is good since sun resides in a house whose lord is dead enemy to sun sun will reduce in delivering its effects when sun resides in aquarius that is fifth house to the ascendant its position is not considered to be favorable because a malefic should not reside in the fifth house when sun resides in fifth house that is in aquarius it will aspect its own house leo however a malefic should not reside in the fifth house this will not deliver any big benefits to the native though it delivers a male child there will be some hatred towards the children or there will be some shortcoming in the life of the children this is what sun will certainly deliver when it resides in fifth house to the ascendant when sun resides in the sixth house it is good this is the house of jupiter and the ascendant lord itself gets exalted in the house of pisces pisces is the exaltation house of venus for the native of libra ascendant both the third and sixth house will be an auspicious for sun as per bhavat bhavam when sun resides in pisces it will be in the eighth house from leo as per bhavat bhavam the lord of house of gains it is in the sixth house to the ascendant and in house of pisces the connection of 6 and 11 is very auspicious the 6th house gives a lot of debts to the native whereas 11th house gives the ability to settle all the debts because 11th house is the 6th house to the 6th house therefore when sun resides in the 6th house that will in house of jupiter it can deliver a certain level of benefits to the native sun does not lose its sthanabala when it resides in pisces in general when malefic or in 6th or 8th or 12th house and resides in the house of a benefic it is considered to be favorable the important point is that sun should not attain pabatva when it resides in pisces that is it should not be in connection with rahu by which sun will get eclipsed or sun should not be in connection with saturn for the native of libra ascendant when sun gets exalted in the 7th house it indicates a second marriage the lord of 11th house is in the 7th house 
it is not considered to be favorable when exalted sun aspects the ascendant house though in general it is said that when an exalted planet aspects the ascendant it is good in this case it is not true because what will happen when exalted sun aspects the ascendant house it gives a lot of overconfidence to the native of libra ascendant these people will have a tendency not to respect others such native will be very arrogant mostly blowing their own trumpets to sum up when sun resides in the 7th house that too with exaltation status it is not a good position at all it will not deliver benefits when sun resides in 8th house it is not considered to be good of course when sun resides in taurus it is house of a benefic whose house lord is venus however sun being a luminous planet should not reside in 8th house to the ascendant this is not considered to be good as per bhavat bhavam it will be in the 10th house to its own house leo though in general it is said when padagadibadi resides in 8th house to the ascendant it is good yet when sun resides in 8th house to the ascendant it is not considered to be good what could be the reason because sun is a luminous planet during the major planetary period of sun it will not deliver any benefits and when sun resides in taurus it also resides in its enemy's house which is not considered to be good venus treats sun as its enemy only in certain exceptional situations the planets which are enemical can deliver benefits you have to definitely understand this when a planet resides in an enemical house for example when sun resides in taurus which is a enemical house it is not considered to be good because sun will get affected a lot now let us see the effect of sun in the house of gemini when sun resides in gemini that is 9th house to the ascendant house it will invoke karaho bhavanasti in order to make accurate predictions you have to definitely check the strength of the dispositor which is mercury when sun is subhatva and dispositor is very strong there will not be much worse effects related to father the native might get paternal properties and native will have a good rapport with the father there will not be any worse effects the only antidote is subhatva when sun resides in the 10th house to the ascendant house that is in house of cancer it delivers extreme benefits in addition to this if venus is in conjunction with sun then it is in such a favorable position even though venus loses its directional strength over there that is nishbala the strength of sun will compensate that loss this is such a great planetary position because already the native of libra ascendant have a very good business mind these people are good business minded people and the 10th house is the house of profession this is the reason i say sun will deliver extreme benefits when it resides in the 10th house the native of libra ascendant will manipulate in all domains because libra itself is represented by the picture of balance the native of libra ascendant always holds the balance they will always think about what gain they will earn the important point is they will always look forward in gaining in an honest way and not in dishonest ways because the house lord of libra is a natural benefic which is venus the native of libra ascendant are not a kind of people who exploit others they will be always in a mindset that if you want to buy the product stay here otherwise you leave the place they will not cajole the people in order to make their business 
They are very straightforward in their business. They will definitely say things like, I'm not going to butter you up in order to get you as a client. I own a shop and if you want to buy something, you're welcome to my shop. Otherwise, you can leave the place. It is totally your wish to buy from my shop or to give up. But I will definitely run the business in an honest way. No buttery words or soft soap in their words. These sort of characteristics will be delivered based on 10th house of the ascendant. The 10th house is very auspicious house for sun because it gets directional strength and in addition to this when it has got conjunction with Venus or aspect from Jupiter it delivers extremely great benefits. 11th house that is house of Leo is also a good house to sun. Though sun which is lord of Padagadibadi resides in the very same house itself it will not deliver much worse effects. You have to understand when a Padagadibadi will deliver worse effects. It is very important to understand that in which situation Padagadibadi will deliver worse effects. Here in this house definitely sun which is the Padagadibadi should not be in conjunction with a benefic like Venus. When a Padagadibadi attains more Subhatva it will deliver more Pataka. Therefore, when Sun resides in 11th house, it should not be in conjunction with Venus or it should not be in connection with Jupiter, thus gaining more Subhatva and doing more Pataka. Please try to understand first of all what Pataka means. Pataka is nothing but giving a big pot full of milk and finally pouring an ounce of poison in the milk. This is what called as Padaka. It will deliver everything but eventually it will kill. Therefore when sun resides in the 11th house which is Padaka Dibadi it is not considered to be favorable when it gets more Subhatva here. What will happen when sun is Padatva? When Padagadibadi is Pabatva, then the major planetary period of Padagadibadi will be much worse and sun will lose its character of Padaga. Let me explain. Let us imagine what will happen when sun is in connection with Rahu or Saturn. The original character of Padagadibadi is to drench you with all luxuries during 75% of its major planetary period and in the rest of the period eventually it will kill you. Finally it will move you to the prison. Finally it will exploit everything, grab everything from you and it will let you to live on the roads. In case if you think sun has not delivered such luxuries such good things to you, here is the answer. When this Padagadibadi is affected by malafic, what will happen? Then these malafics will prevent the sun from doing such Padaga to you. However, the whole major planetary period of sun will be filled with a lot of hurdles. This is the important point to know. When sun resides in 12th house to the ascendant, it is not considered to be good. You should not take into account that Padagadibadi resides in the 12th house to the ascendant which is Virgo. Such a logic will not apply here. Though this is house of Mercury, whose house lord treats sun as its best friend, it is not good. A luminous planet should not reside in the 12th house. It is not considered to be good. The only antidote is Subhatva of the planet. This planetary position will let the native to move to a distant place or to a foreign country. You have to also consider into account that the 12th house signifies imprisonment. 
when sun is parbatwa here that is if it is in connection with saturn or rahu it will definitely let the native to be imprisoned and it will let the native to receive punishments having said all these when sun resides in 12th house that is in virgo it should not remain parbatwa it is not considered to be good the antidote is subatwa of sun if sun is subatwa in 12th house it will deliver a lot of benefits well this is question time for the native of libra ascendant in order to deliver more padaka should sun be subatwa or parbatwa in one's natal chart please write your answers in the comment section of this video in the description box we have added the playlist link of all english videos so far published the link of aditya guruji's website is also given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both ios and android users the link of google play store app is also given in the description box that is available only for android users the tamil version of this video is also available please check the description box write your feedback to astro.write to us at gmail.com thank you